The fringe was called the fringe not because it lay at the edge of the city, but because it lay at the edge of the law. It really was a city neighborhood that sensible folks made a point to avoid. Zane must not have been as sensible a person as Dan would have thought, as he seemed to know his way around there quite well. Come here often? he asked. Zane shrugged. Kinda have to in my line of work. You're a cook, remarked Dan. His friend grinned. Where do you think I get my ingredients from? Everything is cheaper here, on the black market. Of course, things got more expensive after the cloaking, what with us being cut off from the Imperium and all. Dan frowned. He hadn't known this that his friend used the black market. Not that he was one to judge, but he'd have thought Zane could afford better suppliers. Before he could ask another question, the other man tapped his shoulder and pointed toward a nearby store. The sign above read, House of Eternal Rest. I'll go in, said Zane, and explain the situation. You keep walking around, okay? We don't want you in there any longer than is absolutely necessary. Wait, what is that place? Well, officially, it's a crematorium. But there's a lot more going on in back. All right, I'll go in. Just keep walking, and I'll signal you when you can come. How? Zane handed him a device that looked like a little black box. It was small enough that it could disappear in his hand if he made it into a fist. Come back when you hear this beat, okay? Dan just nodded as he watched his friend go into the shop. Without waiting, he started walking again. Where will he go? What will happen next? Find out tomorrow.